Hooked up. There's a, there's a hole right here. This is where a gooey duck is. There's a gooey duck right here. Yeah, here's one sticking up right here. Little. And you can see there's two here, two here, two there. The, the thing that I think that makes it such a fascinating creature is how hard it is to grow, how deep they are, and the flavor and the taste of the animal. This here is a gooey duck, uh, farm-raised gooey duck on Taylor Shellfish uh, Stretch Island Farm. The size of this farm is 12 acres and we're going to yield a million pounds off of it uh, over the next six years. Gooey ducks are long lived and slow growing and the oldest one on record is 165 years old. So what you have here is you have the skewer that marks the gooey duck. You have a person that comes in, puts the skewer in the ground above the gooey duck so the harvester knows where the gooey duck is and they can come through and just stick their wand in there and just pull this gooey duck out. So you skewer all the gooey ducks out before you start harvesting. These were planted six years ago, so in 2005. We planted this, this batch in 2005. Yeah, it takes five years to get a pound and a half to a pound and three quarter gooey duck. The neck right here is what you make fritters out of or sashimi, and then the belly is you do sauteed or pan fry. So, wow. wow. So that's the show me the belly. Okay, here's oh, the, the this is thing. the gut. That's the whole thing, less the shell. This is the guts. So you don't want to eat that. This is the belly. The same and then this is the this is the siphon in the neck. This is my brother Jeff. He's he's part of the harvest crew. Lynn is the banner off to Jeff's left, and she'll put the rubber bands around him and stack them in trays, and then haul the tray out to deep water. And honestly, pound for pound, those women will outwork anybody in the company. They're paid 30 cents a pound, and the banders are paid 10 cents a pound. And it is hard labor because you got to drag the hose, you got to pack all your trays, you're bent over for six, probably four to six hours a day in the same position, kind of crawling around on the beach. It's not good for the back. It's not. The it's not good for the back or the knees. So, so after harvest. The gooey duck trays will get taken back to the plant and then they're graded um, by, some, by a different crew and then they're shipped live and everything's shipped as live product. As fast as we take them in, they're, they're shipped out. Gooey ducks are predominantly grown on the west coast. Um, it was started as a, a native fishery in Alaska, in Canada, and in Washington. And due to over harvest, um, we started a, a farming gooey ducks in 1994. So it's kind of expanded from 1994 until now into a, you know, a, a more of a farmed product versus wild product. To do this, you have to have your own hatchery. You have to be able to produce seed. And, and, and there's just a lot, of div, a lot of variabilities that it takes to be a gooey duck farmer or a gooey duck grower. It's so expensive though, you don't take it home a lot because I mean that's, that's a two pound animal, that's $40 for this, this gooey duck right here. For whatever reason, the Mediterranean mussels grow better in Tottenham than they do in other places in Washington State. And I think it's the productivity of the water. There's a lot of phytoplankton in the water in Tottenham and so you get very high yields of uh, fast-growing mussels. Mm -hmm.